Luke uh, Hardy, and I'm a uh, adventurer, explorer, scientist, and documentary filmmaker. I'm here at the uh, at the uh, Science Week uh, conference to uh, present uh, uh, a documentary which I just finished with uh, with my team on the subject of cloning. Um, the title is uh, Alter Ego, Cloning the Age of Reason, with a question mark. Uh, and um, yeah, the subject matter is basically um, uh, where we are in uh, the technology of cloning animals today. We have all heard about uh, Everybody has heard about the cloning of uh, Dolly the sheep in 1996, but I was surprised when I, and also by myself, not really knowing what's going on in the world of cloning animals today. And I had the opportunity uh, 10 years ago, because I'm also a uh, horseman and polo player, so I go to Argentina every year to play a little bit and to watch games and I realized that uh, about 10 years ago uh, in the best games, uh, best tournament in the world uh, which happened to be in Argentina in uh, early December that the best player, polo player in the world was uh, playing on clones, on horses which are clones of champion horses so in my mind you know I crossed the fact that you know I'm a curious I'm a scientist I'm a horseman I'm doing documentaries why not do a documentary on that uh, subject and that's how I started it took me about uh, five years um, part of it delayed a little bit because of COVID uh, and um, here we are today with a film which uh, is the uh, result of this uh, uh, quest, thrilling quest in a way for understanding uh, what's going on in that world. First, the documentary tells you, uh, I hope, uh, you know, what's going on today. Uh, uh, not too many people know, and I didn't know at the time that, yeah, we clone horses, uh, cats, uh, cows, uh, dogs. Uh, dromedaries, camels, uh, etc. We clone 55 species uh, today, uh, 30 plus of uh, mammals. So uh, you have, uh, I think with the film, a better uh, understanding of what's going on today. But certainly my goal was to have the public question what's happening now, tomorrow, in the next few years, which is just amazing. Uh, and I was, you know, uh, amazed myself uh, at what's going on, that uh, uh, not only uh, you can clone uh, animals, but you can modify these uh, originals so that the clones are performing I, I, in a different way or even better than the original, you know, by uh, switching the genes for speed or uh, strength. Um, so there is some of that. Uh, and also today we, the Chinese labs, uh, Academy of Science in uh, Shanghai, uh, are cloning uh, macaques, you know, uh, monkeys, uh, crab-eating macaque, uh, rhesus macaque. So when you see that technology allows to clone primates, monkeys, it's clear that humans could be technically, in theory, and I'm not promoting that, but it's clear that humans uh, could very well be cloned in the near future should you know, other humans decide to do it. Now, today, it's a no, 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 no one wants to clone uh, uh, humans, and the UN decided in 2005, yeah, no, we should not clone, it's forbidden to clone humans. But at the end of the film, if you're like me, you say, hmm, that, that could happen someday, for good or bad reasons.